What's the cross product of the two vectors A cross B? So there's two types of products that you can take with vectors. There's the dot product or the scalar product where you just add everything together and you end up with one number at the end. And then there's the cross product whose result is not a scalar. Its uh, result is also a vector. So if we have these two vectors with three terms, it's got components in the i, j, and k directions, and we take the cross product, we'll get out a resulting vector, which is also ha has direction. It's going to have three terms, i, j, and k. And the way that we calculate that is we set up a matrix where the first row is literally i, j, k, the unit vectors that determine the direction. And then underneath that, the next row, the second row, is vector a, and it's just the coefficients. So minus 1, 9, and 7. And then the third row is vector b, 13, 3, and 1. And it is important that this is vector a in the second row, and this is vector b if we want to find is a cross b, because a cross b is not equal to b cross a. a cross b is equal to minus b cross a. So it's not arbitrary where these two vectors are located. The order is important. Then once we get that matrix, our goal is to find the discriminant. And as a reminder, in case you haven't done that in a while, you can look at the sections cross product and vectors are the search terms in the reference handbook. But I'll just show you how to do it here. A cross B is going to be I times the discriminant of so you cross out the first column and you cross out the first row and what's left over is just 9, 7, 3, 1. And then we find the discriminant of that 2 by 2 matrix, which is 9 times 1 minus 7 times 3. So let's do that math in our heads so we have less to write down. 9 times 1 is 9 minus 21. That's negative 12. And now for the middle term, it's absolutely critical, and a, a lot of folks will forget this if you haven't done it in a while. This term has to be minus. So it alternates. The first term is plus, minus, plus. So it's minus j times. And now using a very similar method, we cross out the first row, and we cross out the middle column. So we end up with minus 1 and 1 and 7 and 13. So we're doing the discriminant of that 2 by 2 matrix. So minus 1 times 1 is minus 1, minus 7 times 13, which is 91. So this one I actually have to write down, minus 1, minus 91. All right, minus 92. I guess I could have done that. All right, and the last one, plus k, we're crossing out the first row and the last column. So our 2 by 2 matrix is minus 1, 9, 13, and 3. So minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. Minus 9 times 13 is 90 and 27, 117. And now let's just simplify here, minus 12i. And here we're going to have minus 92 times a negative, so it's going to be plus 92j. And here we have minus 120k. And that lines up well with answer choice D.